guys, I cannot control my excitement. Buzzing. Boarding on Epic. It's Sunday, 7th is it? For Jan and um, as most of you will know already, the Sub Zero Epic Callaway driver is making a bit of a stir. It certainly is with me anyway. Um, I don't know what it is, but there's just something about it that I just feel I need it. I need, I need it in my bag. And I've never had that feeling before, I've not had that feeling for a long, long time. Um, never bought a brand new driver in my life. Now, obviously, they're not the cheapest, it's, uh, and I, I can assure you I'm making some serious, uh, serious sacrifice to be able to get one, but I will be doing as much as I can to get one. For the time being, I need to hold one, I need to feel one, I need to. I need one. Oh, God, I need one. I don't know why. I just feel I need one. Um, I do know why. I do know why. The, the quality it is, it's this 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 system that they've got in there, the jailbreak system. It's it's an engineering masterpiece. If you weigh up exactly what it's doing, um, I'm a builder by trade. But I understand things like that. I understand bit of engineering and, and you know supports and structures and strengths and it all just makes sense um, it's difficult to explain really but you know when it's taking that much flexibility by putting those rails between the sole and the top of the uh, top of the top of the club the head of the club um, it's, it's, it's just going to add so much strength, and with that strength, it's going to be there's going to be just so much less flexibility within the face of the driver. And if there's less flexibility in the face of the driver, that's going to cause less spin. It's just all this common sense, really. That common sense. Now, my bad shot. My bad shot. My main shot is a, a slice, it's a slice, my, 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 my shot's a slice, now if I'm going to learn how to use a driver then I know if I do get this sub-zero that this driver is the most forgiving, it's got to be the most forgiving because it's the most rigid, it's the most, it's the strongest, it's epic. This driver is going to make 2017 epic, in my opinion. In my opinion, I'm so excited. I really, really, really want one. Now I've been begging and pleading on Twitter all weekend, basically. Um, I live in Blackpool. No one in Blackpool seems to have one, or won't have one till at least two or three weeks' time. I know they're around because obviously the likes of Rick Shields. Mark Crossfield, um, the big boys, you know, they've all done uh, their, their uh, reviews on them. Obviously, they're going to get first dabs on, obviously, um, which is fair enough. Now, I do know of a chap called uh, Sam Punchard at Sub Zero Golf. Um, I know of him, I've never met him, so I'm really excited to meet him. He, um, commented this morning because I'm actually in Manchester I dropped my daughter off at university this morning so I thought while well, I'm in Manchester or ferrying back towards Blackpool um, I've asked the question again and Sam very kindly has um, gone out of his way and said get yourself down here and, and have a look at it um, so I'm really excited I can't thank you enough Sam appreciate that thank you very much um, I'm hoping that uh, the boys are going to be turning up as well while I'm there. Um, Pete and Wayne Moon Swings Golf, that would be great if they do because I'd love to have a, uh, a bit of a log on it as well. That would be uh, 
just from my personal, um, just just for me, just for me to look at, and share with you guys if, uh, if it can be of any good. Now I'm 16 handicap. I'm not playing to 16 handicap because I'm not playing golf. That's my problem. I'm not playing enough golf. I'm getting down to the range and I'm having a swing. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Mostly bad. It is mostly bad. I need some more lessons. I need to um, address my swing. I know my swing's not right. I'm coming out to win. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual mid handicap issues. We've all got them. Most mid handicappers have got them, obviously. But that is something that I want to address. I want to get right and I want to be sorted. Now, I've I, I, I've got absolutely no intentions of ever replacing this driver if I was to get it. If this driver does the job for me, and if this driver doesn't do the job for me, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm going to give up golf. Simple as, because I'll never be any good. You know, there's, there's no... If, if I can't... If, in my, you know, the way I see it is if you're not going out there and getting the best of the best, and having it fitted specifically to adapt your faults, I say. What I mean by that is obviously got, you know, there, there, there's ways and means around that by the shaft fitting, um, on the strength of the shaft and the flexibility within the shaft to accommodate faults within your swing. Um, so again, that's something that's going to be addressed. I was not buy one off the shelf or second hand as I generally do. Every driver I've ever bought has been second hand or given to me. Um, for the guys that don't know the story, if you've, if you've only just come across myself, then I'm the jammy swine that asked um, Rory McElroy for a, one of his old Nike drivers back in November 2014. Um, at the time he was he was in Shanghai down with food poisoning if I'm not mistaken uh, so obviously had a bit of a time, a bit of time on his hands and, and responded to my throwaway comment um, and said sure enough I'll, I'll, I'll send you midnight with 2013 night covert driver um, the story went viral as you can imagine Rory McElroy giving one of his Facebook fans a driver you know it's just something that well it, it just doesn't happen does it you know um, I've been very blessed with opportunities that have come my way since uh, the, you know and when I was getting down driving range with it because I did use it I had a few you know a, a few harsh words off a few folk as well you know can't believe you're using it why is it not up on the shelf in a box, that's not me, I, 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 that, that's just not me, it's a driver, it was built to be a driver, it was built strong enough for Rory McElroy to hit it, so why is it not strong enough for the likes of myself or anyone else to try and hit it, and being on the range and um, sharing it with people and, you know, letting them hit it, and I'm talking, you know, not just pros and, you know, low handicap players, I'm talking kids. You want to see? You, you, you should have seen the kids' faces when they knew they had Rory McIlroy's 2013 Nike Over driver in their hands with a signed cap. He sent off photographs off the mums. It, you know, it was a, it was a joy to see and joy to enjoy. Uh, a joy to enjoy. Um, it, it was a pleasure. It was a pr privilege to be able to, you know let them kids have that memory you know unfortunately and I mean this sincerely unfortunately um, the driver succumbed to uh, a bit of an accident what I mean by that is we were I was due to play in the club championship for my first time the first ever proper championship driver I had at the time, which was my original driver, was a Callaway FTI, I don't know if you remember them, the square end, had that for nearly 10 years, loved it, it I, I just always fancied a square, I always 
always used a, a square driver. I just found it easier to line up, easier to use, and I, I was always quite, I wouldn't say uh, good with one, but when I hit one, I, I hit one. Anyway, um, so the driving range just before we started, just to warm up with my, my driver, um, which had just had a new shaft fitted into it. Unfortunately, that shaft connection where it fit into the ferrule gave way while I was on the driving range. So obviously I'm due to play a club championships, uh, club, club championship game and then suddenly I'm not going to drive a but I have because I had Rory McElroy's driver in my bag. So it was a case of, do I just play with my three iron or do I play with Rory McElroy's 2013 Nike Colbert driver? been the first time I'd have ever played with it. I've used it on the range etc um, but I've never actually played a, a round with it, um, a full round with it. So sets off on the first tee, tees off with it, went to the right as generally my drives do but it was clean, I had a shot for my second, quite excited. The boys I was with, grab cracking bunch. My son was with me as well because we had a buggy, so he wanted to drive a buggy for crack. And uh, unbeknown to a pair of us, the, um, the clip on the bag on the back of the buggy had not been just snapped into place enough. And as we'd set off, the bag fell off the back of the buggy, snapping Rory's driver about four inches just above the ferrule. I was mortified as I'm sure you can imagine. My son, my son's face, oh he was he, he was he was gutted. He was absolutely gutted. Not his fault, no, not neither of us fault. You know, just a bit of carelessness, a bit of a mistake. <sighs> Shit happens. But um you know it's got it's, it's gone it's it's still in my bag in two pieces um, I still get asked questions about it etc etc I have contacted a couple of four to try and replace the shaft but obviously to replace that shaft um, it's not something you can just get off eBay or off the shelf somewhere it's a it's a special shaft you know it's Rory McElroy's special shaft Anyway, uh, that's what happened. That's what happened there. That's what happened there. Uh, uh, so I ended up playing with my three, my three wood. I had a pretty decent game with my three wood, to be fair. Um, had a few, a few bad holes, but I, I, I did all right. I got myself, like I say, I got myself down to from 24 handicap with a plenty of tuition from Tony Johnson up at Staining Golf there. Uh, quite a lot of tuition actually through the first winter, I got it in November and obviously I was getting, uh, it sort of gave me a kick up, kick up the backside a bit to get back out and play a bit, you know, um, and obviously if I was going to go out and showcase Rory McElroy's driver then I at least needed to be able to, to hit it, you know, so I was getting a lot of training, a lot of input off, um, off Tony um, who of which actually, you know, he, the, I mean, the set of irons they had at the time was a set of Cobra S9s. You know, it's a, a cheap second hand set that I'd had for a while. Old, old clubs I've always had for a while, so I never really took it that seriously. It was just more of a social game for me. But, you know, we'd, we'd do two or three society trips a year, just basically a weekend with the boys, really. You know, and the golf was just a perfect test excuse for it, you know, just to meet up and have a good, good crack, you know. Anyway, um, it was him that introduced me to Callaway Clubs because he got himself a set of new irons, so he uh, offloaded his um, Callaway X Forged to myself, um, and then an opportunity came around where I had a chance to buy uh, a friend of mine there, uh, Mike Fennig, and again he, he does clubs himself now. Um, a lad I know there, based down at uh, Tea Time Golf and up at Fleetwood Golf Club. He um, he was getting rid of his Callaways and going with a different brand. So uh, I, I took the opportunity to purchase, 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 
to, to buy um, his Callaway XR Pro off him and I bought a couple of wedges as well, the Mac Daddy 2's which have been sent off to Apollo Mine to be uh, tarted up I suppose, um, cleaned up, tarted up, coloured, painted, red and white bars, the FC colours, um, they just needed freshening up and new grips so uh, a, lad, a lad I know there, uh, Andrew Griffiths at um, Golf Irons UK, uh, again if, if you look me up on Twitter I can send you a link to him, very very nice guy, lovely guy, done a great job of them, so I'm looking forward to getting them back next week as well, so, yeah, it's all exciting, all, I'm all excited, I've got, I've, I've, I've fell in love with Callaway, I don't know, it's just the team, the team spirit, I, I'm on Twitter a lot, I do use Twitter a lot, at Rory's Drive, if you want to um, hook up on there and we'll have a chat, or uh, arrange a game of golf, whatever, you know, um, Discuss if you get if you're getting out there and, and thinking of buying epics yourself, then you know um, let us know your thoughts on it. Give us some give us some questions. I had you know I'm going to start doing a few vlogs and I'm going to start vlogging this year's progress and see how uh, see how things go and uh, and hopefully that will materialise into another couple of uh, opportunities to meet another couple of nice folk, nice people and enjoy some golf and, and hopefully along the way learn how to play it, learn from good players and you know just have a good crack. So that's my plans, that's where I'm going. I've just left Manchester, I'm on my way up to uh, Burnley I think we're going, they just give me a postcode. Um, I'm surmising it's, it's Burnley. So I'm heading up towards Sam Punchard and uh, I'm going to get to see an epic. A sub zero epic. Ooh! Don't I should tell you what I'm having to sacrifice for this. I've had it for years. But. Twenty seventeen needs to need, needs to be epic. Seventeen's always been my lucky number. Seventeen's something always about seventeen, and, and, and I want to make this year. I want to make this year my year. I want to want to do what I can, make a difference, make some memories, and enjoy it. And if I can get out on the golf courses with nice golf courses. Uh, golf courses, any golf courses, um, with some nice folk along the way, and enjoy it, have a crack, have a beer, just, uh, I, I like the social aspect of it, I love the social aspect of it, I've met some cracking people since going on to Twitter, um, I had to go on to Twitter regarding this Rory's driver business, basically because all my family and friends were starting to get fed up of hearing about it on, on Facebook. I mean, I do use Facebook and Instagram, so I mean, you can find me talking about here and there. I'm always, uh, I'm always around, as people would say. Um, so yeah, yeah, look us up, have a chat, and, and, and let's, all, uh, let's all get out there and, and enjoy some golf, eh? So hopefully I'll get up here I'll not waste any more of your time. I'll get up here and um, meet up hopefully with boys and uh, at the very least I'll have a couple of photographs. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I, just, I really am so excited. So, uh, Team Callaway. Epic. Absolutely epic. Bring it on. Right guys, I'll see you soon. Yeah.